Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is the Opta Dice set by the Dice Lab. The Dice Lab is myself and Robert Fathauer. So this is Opti as in optimal. Uh, this is our attempt to uh, make as good a set of the standard uh, seven dice that you can using injection molding technology. Uh, so we're doing things a little bit differently in three different areas from the way that dice are usually made. So first of all, uh, all of our dice are numerically balanced. Um, so there's some form of numerical balancing in all dice that are made, uh, unless they're very strange. So what do I mean by this? So opposite sides of a die should add up to one more than the number of uh, sides on the die itself. Um, so why is that? Why does, is there 12 on one side and one on the other? Well, you can imagine one way in which a die could be unfair is that if it's sort of squished down vertically, so it's more like a coin, and then it's much more likely that those two sides are going to show up than any of the others. And if you number it this way, then even if you know it's very likely that you're going to be on one of these two opposite sides, at least you're not going to roll high or low. So there's a sort of balancing between opposite sides of the die. Numerical balancing, we also balance around the vertices as best as possible. So we want the sum of the uh, numbers around each vertex to be as close as possible to the sum of the average, that number of, uh, of faces added together, which means that there's no vertex that is particularly favored over another vertex in terms of uh, rolling high or low. Uh, so we can do that better on the, the larger dice, the smaller ones, there's not much uh, balancing around the vertices that is possible, but as you move up, there's more you can do. Second, uh, our numbering is physically balanced. What do I mean by that? So you'll notice these interesting uh, designs for the numbers. Each number is made from uh, 10 hexagons, all of the same size, and they're positioned on the face so that the center of mass of the, uh, the design is at the center of the face. And so this means that it's obvious that we're taking the same amount of material out of each face. Sometimes people complain, well, I mean, isn't my, my 12 going to uh, be lighter than my one because the 12 is a bigger number than the one? And in our case, it isn't. Uh, we weren't able to do this for the D20 just because um, the, the numbers uh, have to be quite small relative to the size of the, the face. Um, and also, I and mean, you'll see on the, the D12, we have to be a little bit uh, clever here to write 12 using 10 hexagons and it would not be so easy to write 19 using 10 hexagons as well. It wouldn't be very readable. Uh, the third way in which we uh, make these better than the standard is we've made them slightly larger than usual. So um, the kinds of errors that you see coming out of injection molding tend to be absolute errors. So uh, you know this die uh, mold is maybe off by some fraction of a millimeter which means that it's slightly squished in one way or another. If you make the whole thing bigger, then uh, the absolute errors are gonna be the same, uh, generally speaking, and so the relative errors are gonna be smaller, so it's gonna be closer to being uh, the shape that it's supposed to be. Um, so those are the three things that we do. Um, so I guess just one other, other thing to say, the, uh, the D10s, uh, so we have the, the standard uh, units digit and the tens digit. We indicate the tens digit just with a single uh, hexagon up here. Doesn't really seem necessary to add an extra zero or something like that. And also it would mess up our uh, abilities to uh, nicely balance the, the number, um, the physical numbers in the faces. So this is the Optidice set by the Dice Lab. Thanks for watching.